Hey coach, so glad you found us on YouTube. Couple things, first of all, make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who wanna get better. Uh, let me help you put banners and all those things in the gym. Um, it's a great community. We do one-on-one -on -one calls, office hours. There's nothing like it. And you get my personal email address. There's a roadmap in there to help you become a better basketball coach. Also go over and uh, subscribe and like. Have a great day. Oh, we can do this. Yeah. yeah, we can do this. We can do this. We're laughing. Coach and I are laughing because we're gonna talk about officials. And Anyway, all right. Before welcome to welcome to high school hoops. We're just I'm just laughing a little punchy. We're near the end here. Um. Anyway, uh. So before we get going, like to give a big shout out to our two sponsors. First of all, Doctor Dish, the number one shooting machine. Go check them out. Easy to use. Easy has great workouts. Um. Has everything you need. We just got rid of our old one. I gave to a former player of mine and the thing is like was running for like 15 years. So they're like a good car. They're going to go forever. Um, tell them a high school hoops uh, sent you or coach Collins and they'll take really good care of you. And then um, go over and check out teach hoops.com for coaches who want to get better. A lot of changes, a lot of price changes coming in, a lot of changes with the website. I'm basically merging teach hoops and my new membership. I'm going to get two memberships for the price of one. That's what's going to act. So all the behind the scenes stuff, everything that's coming maybe June-ish, we'll see. Um, I was silly enough to sign up for summer school this summer. Um, Lucky and, you. Yeah, not really, not really. But I'm near retirement, so I need to boost my retirement near the end. Um, anyway, so go over and check that out before uh, all the prices change and all the all the, all the the pivots. So um, you're going to want to get in now. So you grandfathered in. I mean, I have, I have someone paying $12 a month, It's a lot more than that now. Um, all right. So, uh, arguing and communicating with officials, this was coach's topic. I'm gonna let you take it first. What, what's all right. Your so for me, I've actually, I, I put together, I've got a rule for my parents, uh, and it's it's a it's it's not a beloved rule by my parents, but I've got a rule for my parents, and that it's uh, you cannot yell at officials if you're a parent in the stands, uh, and if like you yelling at officials will affect your son's playing time. Like if 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 I hear it, or how do you how do you how do you know? Well, I mean, I've got a I've got I an assistant who's kind of, my athletic director. I've told my athletic director about it, so he watches a lot. Uh, for me and will kind of let me know and so like it not, might not affect your son's playing time in this game but it might in the next one um because he he kind of gives me a report every day so i've made a, a rule you're not allowed to yell at officials for me like let's be honest officials are supposed to be impartial right has an official ever really been impartial no they're all bad so they're, the right. way, they're all bad so the only way i make it through mm -hmm. the world is I just assume they're all bad. And then if Correct. I get average, they're Great. bad. Yeah. They're accountants during the day. That's what I tell my players. I said, yeah. these guys aren't making 150 K to come do your high school game. No, they were working. They were working from nine to five. And then they came maybe making $150 to come to your high school game. Oh, they're not making that. Not yeah. 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 And so for me, like I've got a rule for my parents. You're not allowed to yell at officials. Uh, and it, and it's kind of one of those things that I I heed like heed to as well. I I like very very rarely I'll do it. Like if I get really heated, I'll do it. But it's very rare that you'll see me holler at an official, um, because for me, like with the rotation, they'll eventually come around and they'll be standing in front of you on the sideline, and you can just have a conversation with them then. For for number one, or you can call them over when they make a play. Hundred percent agree. If they would talk, if they would all communicate, yes, I would agree yeah. with that. A lot of them are standoffish and yes. won't come. That falls on them, to be honest. Yeah, with I you. agree. I agree. Like, if the you, thing, you're going to talk to me, and then, so I'll give you an example. Didn't talk to the officials the whole game, didn't get a warning. I would say on a scale of one to 10, 10 me working the officials, zero being me not saying anything the whole game. I was at like a one. Okay, the whole game. Third overtime, we're up six with 48 seconds to go or 50 seconds to go. And I walk down the other side and say, gosh, we've only, they've, they've, the other team's only committed four fouls. And the official 84 feet away walks down and tees me. 
Swear to God. That's frustrating. Like I, That's frustrating. 35 years, I've never been so surprised at a technical. We ended up losing in triple overtime. It was the first yeah. overtime and the second one. And it's like, first of all, if I want to get a T, I'll get a T because I know how to get a T. Oh, I'll get but one. Yeah. I'll get one if I need to get one. But I wasn't trying to get one. We're up. And it's like, I was just making a point that you guys haven't blown the whistle all game. And now you're going to blow the whistle on this with 48 seconds to go. Yeah. So it's like, that and it hadn't talked to me the whole game. That's the problem, too. You don't talk to me. Why why aren't you talking? Come over and tell yeah. Literally come over and say, Steve, shut up. Yeah. And I don't say a word the rest of the game. So in in Michigan, they actually do I don't know how they do it uh, where you guys are at, but in Michigan, they do a really good job in our pregame meeting. They say we will only answer questions. We will never answer a statement. So I've gotten real like they at least preface that. We will answer like your that. questions, we will never answer a statement. So if you say, "Hey, you guys suck," they're not going to respond to you uh, in Michigan. But if you, I say, love that they should say that. Yeah. So they at least tell you, "Well, answer well, but but I you. have officials that won't respond to the question." Yeah, but like, I've just gotten really that? good that every complaint I have, I form as a question, and so it's like, uh, "Why are we not getting the hand checking call?" Yeah, why are we not getting? Because you told me you would answer my question, like. So instead of saying that's a hand check every time, like, hey, why are you not calling a hand check there? Or hey, can I you love please that. watch out for a hand check, please? Okay, you've just um, made me a better coach. I'm gonna do that all season. So, next year. so that's my thing. I'm gonna form, form everything, everything as, a as a question. I love that. I'm gonna write so that, I'm even, writing that down. Even for your for your situation of man, they've only been called for four fouls all day. Like I would have walked up to an official and said, Hey, I'm not saying we're not fouling, but can you explain to me how they only have four fouls today? Yeah, right. the thing is, I had my back to him, and I was walking down to the trainer at the end of my bench. Like, I wasn't even, like, now, I have a very loud voice. I get that. It's very distinct. And it's very distinct. Yeah. And anyway, but it was, like, literally the one of the worst calls I've seen in 35 years. Like, because yeah. it, it came out of nowhere. Trust me. I will not argue if you give me a T and I yell at you or I deserve it. I just, okay. And I'll just shut up and I'll sit down. And then yeah. usually I deserve it. Um, hey, sitting down after getting a technical is possible. Is like the worst thing of all it's time. It's like right? horrible. It's like being put in a timeout. It's horrible. It's the best punishment of all time. It is the best punishment for officials. And yeah. the problem is they should use a warning. Now. Unlike giving a kid a timeout, usually give them the warning before you put them in the corner. You should give a warning before. And yeah. then, um, but I'm going to, I'm going to, that's going to be my, my new year's resolution for all the people listening to high school hoops right now. I am going to try to do a better job of forming every question. If anybody's in Wisconsin, just wrote a note, put it on my whiteboard. I'm going to write everything as a form as a question. I love that. Yeah. So they at least give us that ahead of time. So that's what I've just, all right, everything I say to you is going to be a question so that you have to talk to me. Cause that's what you told me because then like you said, if they don't answer your questions, right? Like, you know, sometimes they don't answer your question and they, they told us before the game, you'll answer every question we have. And so then I get even more frustrated if they don't answer, I ask them another question. Why are you not answering my questions? You told me you would. Right. <laughs> like, And they won't, some of them won't. Some of them are just like, yeah. why are you officiating? It's like, you know, people are going to talk to you. Yeah. For real. Like it, it, yeah. it it's like, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. It's like, if you don't want to get in, up in front of people and talk all day, don't become a teacher. Yeah. If you don't want people to disagree with you or talk to you, then don't become an official. It's okay. Yeah. Cause right. there's people that will do it and we'll know what's going to happen. And it's like, I just, I don't, oh, it just drives me off. I just don't yeah. understand. Um, but why, why the question? Why, why did you come up with this question? Uh, you, this, I, you see, yeah. Do you see a lot of it in your I, state? I see. I mean, the amount of, I don't know, like for me, I see, especially in our state, I see a lot of like hot head coaches and, and we talked about, you know, in a couple other episodes before how I, how I broadcast the state finals uh, on, the, on the statewide radio network for our, our state association. I broadcast the state finals. And so the amount of coaches that I see that are just hollering at officials, even like in state championship games, it's the biggest game of the year. And they ain't going to um, get teed in that game. And you're not going to get teed in that game. So you can really harp on them, but it's also like, I've just kind of formulated like, is me first off, they're not going to change their mind. Like they've already made their call. Right. 
So and, he's then, yelling and, at them. and to be honest with you, the <laughs> state tournament games are great. I wish every game was televised because oh, yeah. their friends and their official friends are watching. 100%. So they're at their best. They're trying their hardest. They're yeah. not trying their hardest on a Tuesday in January. I'm right. sorry. Yeah. I have spent the last nine months getting ready for this game. And you walk in and get dressing. And again, I'm just saying that's the difference is like mm-hmm. when that thing's on TV and everybody's watching it, <clears throat> they're and yeah. it's a foul. They're going to call the foul right. because they know the TV camera right under the basket's going to get it. And yeah, they're going to look 100%. foolish if they can't keep not yeah. calling it. Yeah. That, so for me, it's, it's arguing, isn't going to change their mind. No. And it's only going to make them probably, like I said, no, they're supposed to stay impartial, but the more and more that I yell at an official, the more and more they're probably not going to call stuff my way. Uh, it's kind of my thought process behind it. And so. They're humans. Uh, I get it. I, yeah, they, yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Like I'm going to yell. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to, but I actually had a, one of our opponents, uh, one of the coaches I coach against this year, official said, you know, hey, we'll answer your questions, not your statements, uh, and try to keep like your questions or like criticism to a minimum. And the coach looked at the official and said, then you guys have to have a win loss record at the end of the year. And he was like, because if I like, I have to answer to my wins and losses, and you can directly impact those. Right. And that's what they don't understand. Yeah. They also don't understand that we spend, Literally, I saw half of my team today, probably more than half of my team today, and we're off season because yeah. they come in my room or they came in the morning for shoot around or whatever they did. You know, I'd open gym. So it's like, you don't understand how vet these are my kids. <laughs> yeah. Like, so yeah. I'm not rational sometimes. Mm-mm. You're just walking in, you're the doctor or you're the, right. you know, whatever. You're, you're the mechanic or something. You're just, trying to do a job and then get out right i'm here all the time i'm yeah, the one i've got to be able to answer to these guys tomorrow yeah like, i gotta answer the parents i gotta answer the kids i gotta answer yeah. all of them. and it, it, he the, the, the coach was right yeah he was <laughs> absolutely right but it was the first time i'd ever heard something like that and it just made me laugh yeah because i was I'm like a, you're right but also screaming isn't probably going to do you any good <laughs> no it's not going to do you any good all right anything else coach that's it all right perfect Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like before you leave. And also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's got everything and a roadmap for you to become a better basketball coach. So go over and check it out. And let's head back to the next video, wherever that would be.